Hello, it's me, The Hidden Copes. Hope you liked the new video intro. But anyway, today we'll be talking about the Shimmer. Now, the Shimmer is a liquid that was introduced in 1.4.4 and it can do a lot of stuff. It can transmute items, it can transform NPCs into different aesthetic variants. And the easiest way to use the Shimmer currently to actually transform NPCs is with a bucket. However, if you've ever done this, you've probably ran into this problem. Now the nurse is on the roof and you have psychedelic juice all over the floor, which you now have to clean up. But don't worry, I'm here to help you solve this very important problem in the most convoluted way possible. I'm going to build a machine, the Shiminator Type 6, or maybe more like the Shiminator Type 6. So you can see here that I've cleared out some space underground and I'm going to start by building a little box. This box needs to be a valid NPC house, so I will be adding a table, chair and light source. The plan is to have the NPCs spawn in the box before being dropped into the machine below and utterly shiminated. Now, if you want to build this yourself, then you can also use a king or queen statue as an alternative to the NPC house because activating one of these with wiring will spawn either a male or female NPC respectively. Now, the reason I've used the NPC house instead of this is because I want to actually choose which NPC I would like to shimmer. So there we go, our house has been created. It is valid housing. Now I've built up the area beneath the NPC house. This is where we'll have the shimmer being dropped into on top of the NPC. And the tank to the left is where we'll keep the shimmer before it's dispensed. Now I've added in some wiring, a switch to turn the machine on, and some pumps so we can return the shimmer back to the tank. Now I'm adding in some shimmer to test the pumps, only to discover that they don't actually work. Did I mention that I'm an absolute noob at wiring? And to top it off, we have our second blood moon. I didn't manage to get the first one on recording. And I've done a few more tests and things are not going smoothly. And we have our third blood moon. And now our first solar eclipse. Let's play a little game. Try and guess how many blood moons or solar eclipses we'll get this episode. Post it in the comments before watching the rest of the video. No cheating. And whoever wins will get some kind of prize or something. So we finally got this working. The shimmer flows seamlessly and is pumped back up to the tank. I should have been an engineer in real life. We also have a second switch that activates some actuators that will then drop the NPC onto the teleporter below and they will be teleported into a holding cell. So I found this Medusa statue and I thought we could use the Medusa as a bit of a lab rat. So I pop it down, activate it with wire to spawn the Medusa and activate the machine. Now, the Medusa does try and escape, but she does in fact get shimmered and then turns invisible and then straight up disappears. I don't know, the shimmer does some weird stuff. And now we get to the fun part, decoration. So I want the Shiminator Type 6 to look like a crazy random machine that was built by a mad scientist. Now I have been inspired by a certain dangerous machine type 6 and if you understood that reference, well, first of all, well done. Second of all, Nerd. 
and this was the first design I tried but it didn't quite click with me and then we have our second solar eclipse whilst I'm working on the second design and then we have our fourth blood moon and our third solar eclipse ladies and gentlemen this is getting a little bit excessive and then straight after we have and again so here is the design I decided to go with this was the third attempt and I think it definitely fits the vibe of what I was going for a lot more than the previous versions did and I also want this machine to do crazy stuff when it's turned on remember this is supposed to be a random crazy machine that does random crazy stuff it's supposed to be unpredictable so I want sparks flying everywhere, smoke, explosions. So here I'm just building a shift register with wiring so we can accomplish some of these effects. And building this machine has really advanced my wiring skills. I mean, just look at the start of the episode. I couldn't even get pumps to work. And now I'm building shift registers like a pro. And now I'm just going to paint over everything that I don't want to be visible with echo coating. Although I have left some timers and logic gates visible because I think they add to the build. And it's finally finished. As you can see, the golfer is already in the machine and we're just waiting for him to walk into the center over the actuated blocks. I will be building his NPC house next and I will need him in his shimmered form for the build I have planned. And there we go, as you can see, he has been thoroughly shimmered. He is now looking like a fox. Well, I mean, he's supposed to look like a fox, but in my opinion, he looks more like an aardvark. But a design flaw has been revealed. So when an NPC is actually shimmered, they will shoot upwards and this allows them to actually step onto the grates that I use to pour the shimmer liquid through and prevents them from falling back down into the machine where they can be dropped onto the teleporter. So the reason this is a design flaw is the grate needs to remain unactuated because the liquid flows through it and if it receives a signal from wiring, there is a chance that it will change states and not allow the liquid through it, which will break the entire machine even more. But there is a pretty simple fix of this. All you'd need to do is just replace that grate with a copper block and then replace the copper block below the other grate with an other grate and therefore the liquid would flow downwards and you can actuate the copper block up top, which would leave no room or no space rather for the NPC to land when they shoot upwards and the machine should work pretty flawlessly. So whilst it didn't work completely this time, I'll just chill here for a bit whilst the machine's running and describe to you a bit about what's going on. So the on switch for the machine activates several contraptions. So I'll list a few of them. So we have a chimney and bulb machine on the left. The bulb machine is painted with echo coating, so you won't be able to see it. We have a flame trap and chimney on the right. We have a dart trap up top, which activates two firework fountains and a geyser as well. We also have two shift registers. They are what control the lights switching on and off on those little balls with the question marks. So yeah, I think altogether this turned out pretty pretty well. I know it didn't work completely the first time, but we know how to fix it and it looks fantastic. And here is a bonus clip of me shimmering and unshimmering the wizard over and over again before finally teleporting him out and into the holding cell. And in a moment, I will show you all the wiring so you can attempt to build this yourself. But first, please consider liking, subscribing and commenting on the vid. 
It really helps out the channel and it motivates me to keep building wacky stuff like this. So I've popped on my echo goggles and I'm holding a wrench so I can see all the invisible contraptions and all the wiring. And if you are crazy enough to have a crack at this yourself, you can just pause the vid at any moment now and just copy all the wiring. If you are unsure about any blocks or any contraptions like what they are, just ask me what they are in the comments below and I will always reply. Now for the stats. So I did miss another Blood Moon, I didn't hit record on time. So that brings our total Blood Moons up to 7 and our total Solar Eclipses up to 3. So congratulations to anyone who participated in that contest and won if anybody participated at all. And thank you very much for watching. I hope I've inspired you to make something crazy. And apart from that, have a wonderful day.